out live. There is the rocket and the spacecraft, and this is the suit-up room, a historic room inside the Operations and Checkout Building, the Neil Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building at the Kennedy Space Center, where astronauts have been getting ready for launch, going all the way back to Apollo 7, and then in this building, back to Gemini 3. It's a remarkable, it's a great feeling when you walk into the room and you recognize the history that's taken place in that room. Um, visually, it looks, it does look different than when it, uh, when we use the room for shuttle. Not tremendously different because the purpose is still the same. You're still getting into your spacesuit, making sure everything fits where it's supposed to, making sure the suit um, has its pressure integrity checked, and that's what they're going through right now. So this is really kind of the beginning of that buildup of excitement that's going to continue for them throughout the night. Absolutely, and each one of the crew four astronauts is in a seat that is molded exactly as it is in the spacecraft, right? That's right. So the, the cushioning that you see is can be changed out based on the size of each individual astronaut, and the idea is that that seat is going to cradle you through the various dynamic phases of flight. So the, you want it to fit, it, fit you pretty well. And you can see the SpaceX suit techs there with them. Uh, monitoring both on laptops, but then also interacting with the astronauts. Can you believe it, Megan, that you were in that room uh, just about one year ago? It is. It's hard to believe. In some sense, it feels like it was yesterday, but in other ways, it feels like it was a lifetime ago. Yeah. But watching them go through this now definitely brings back all of those memories and those feelings from being in that room and, and having that excitement build. Let's start with him. That is Dr. Chell Lindgren. He was born in Taipei, Taiwan, but spent most of his childhood overseas in England, which he very much appreciated. You'll hear more from him about that. He was an instructor and jump master with the U.S. Air Force Academy and also has a doctorate in medicine. And he served as a flight surgeon for NASA. After he was chosen as an astronaut, Lindgren flew on Soyuz and spent 141 days in space during Expedition 44 and 45. He has a wife and three children, and today, Megan, he is the commander of Crew Dragon. That's right. He is going to make an outstanding commander. He's a wonderful, talented person, obviously experienced at living and working in space. Up next is fellow airman Bob Hines. There he is with his visor open, communicating with his suit tech. He was born in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He has a wife and three daughters. He has a Master of Science in Aerospace Engineering and served 21 years in the U.S. Air Force as a test pilot. He was also a fighter pilot. He flew the F-15E. He came to NASA as a research pilot where he flew science missions in our WB-57. Today, he's going into space for the very first time as the pilot for NASA SpaceX's Crew-4. Now let's introduce you to the two mission specialists, Jessica Watkins, and there she is, looking calm and collected and not moving very much, but very focused, I imagine. She considers Lafayette, Colorado, her hometown, a talented rugby player in college. Her team won the national championship in 2008 when she was with uh, her university, I believe it was Sanford. Um, Watkins was a postdoctoral fellow in the Division of Geological and Planetary Sciences at the California Institute of Technology. She completed several internships with NASA, including one testing system designs for the Mars Perseverance mission at JPL. She became an astronaut in 2017, a turtle. We'll talk more about that. And now, just like Bob, she's going into space for the very first time. This is a brand new experience for her. The second yeah, mission good. specialist is Samantha Cristoforetti. She was born in Milan, Italy, but now lives in Cologne, Germany with her partner and two children. In 2006, she earned her fighter pilot wings and flew the AMX attack fighter at a base in Italy. In 2013, Christopher Eddy launched into space aboard a Soyuz for a long duration space flight to the International Space Station, so she has quite a bit of experience aboard station. Several years later, she was awarded the Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit from the President of Italy, and today she returns to space and the space station with Crew 4. Another very impressive resume, um, but also a really just a great person to be around. So they're going to really work well together. Um, they've gotten to spend several months together training and getting to know one another. And I think this mix of uh, experience and skills is going to blend really well and make for a successful crew. We've got a couple of I think one of the most special things about this particular space flight are the people that I get to fly with. 
Bob Hines, our farmer, is a test pilot. He is the, the pilot for our spacecraft. Samantha Cristoforetti is an Italian fighter pilot who flew in uh, 2014. And Jessica Watkins is one of our newer astronauts. She is somebody that absolutely is foundational to our crew and somebody that can be counted on. Chell is our fearless leader, always in command, ready for the next move, and just somebody that I deeply respect. I knew Chell Lindgren, our commander, very well. He was on the backup crew of my first flight, so we spent quite some time together. So I felt very grateful because Chell is just a great guy. <laughs> a little known fact about Jessica Watkins is that she has the sixth sense to know whenever something is in free flight around her and catch it. Uh, so I am really interested to see how in zero gravity where everything's in free flight, I really want to see how she uh, manages that. She is phenomenal. You know, she joined our crew a little bit late and for our very first SpaceX sim, she jumped right in there as if she had been training with us for months. Samantha Christopher Reddy is an Italian ISA astronaut. She always brings the Italian culture and energy to the table, always super inquisitive, um, and just makes us all feel like family. To see her experience and the expertise that she brings um, and her leadership has been very special. And Bob Hines, our farmer, is a test pilot. He is the, the pilot for our spacecraft. It's uh, such a privilege to get to work with him and to lean on his flying and test pilot experience. He will always bring a dad joke, uh, so you can always be prepared for that. When we're in space, we 100% put our lives in the hands of our crewmates. All four of us together uh, really come together and balance each other out and um, really just coalesce well as a crew. Incredibly happy and thought I couldn't have had a better crew. Space Center. And here comes crew four down the hallway. Those smiles. Great smiles. There they there are. There they are. <laughs> Jessica Watkins, Bob Hines, Chell Lindgren, and Samantha Cristoforetti. Samantha and Jessica there. Ready? All right, bring them. All right. One, two, three, four! Woo! Bob Hines and Chell Lindgren. And here come Jessica and Samantha. Out crew there appears to have the hatch shut. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Go Falcon, let freedom ring. Godspeed, crew four. Vehicle is pitching down range. Copy one alpha. One Bravo. And Miko.
and acquisition of signal ops. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. In Freedom Copies, we're glad to be in orbit. Dragon, SpaceX, launch escape system is disarmed. Freedom Copies. Expected loss of signal, keep. Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland. Dragon to SpaceX, Dragon separation confirmed. Freedom copy. having you fly with us. Good mission. We'll see you later. Hey, and uh, from uh, Freedom, we want to thank a uh, big thank you to SpaceX, the commercial crew program, and specifically the Falcon 9 team for uh, a great ride. It is a privilege to get to fly this new vehicle, the Crew Dragon Freedom to Orbit. Huge thanks to the teams that assembled and prepared her for flight. We're feeling great and looking forward to the view. And we did get confirmation that that nose cone deploy sequence has started. So again, those uh, flying free in space. They do. And we did get confirmation that that nose cone deploy sequence has started. So again, those uh, flying free in space.